Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhoneCaptain.com. Today we're going to be working with ModMy.com to bring you the top City of Tweaks for the week. These are the best five tweaks of the week. And we're going to go ahead and get started. What I'm going to do is just go ahead and go right down my list here. And the first one we're going to take a look at today is called Camera Modes. Now Camera Modes allows you to enable and disable certain things inside your camera so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pull it up so you can so, sort of get a sense of what it looks like as you can see here it is, it's in the big boss repo and this is a free tweak so let's go back out to the settings and I'm sorry over to our camera app and open it up you see here at the bottom I only have video slow-mo and photo Normally I would have panorama, square, and a couple more options in here, but you see I've disabled those using camera modes. I've all, of, all I did was just pick them up up here and drop them down there, and you can reorder these any way you want to. Very good tweak to have if you are a photographer like myself and really enjoy taking photos with your camera. Definitely want to check this one out. The next one's called Confero. Now this is somewhat of a um, sort of a new app switcher type tweak and it's a dollar fifty in Big Boss Repo and it says it's not compatible with the iPad right now so I take it that he is working on it and it says it's for the iPhone 5 and above so let's go ahead and take a look and if you look in the status bar up there you see the little round dot beside the moon up there if I tap that I get this little pop up here and you see inside there I got some different applications in there those are all of my applications that are running badges if you look you see I don't have any kind of badge all right and you can also invoke that through a gesture and I have it set up to open on double tap of the home button so this also is going to be your app switcher when you're using Confero too and if you go in here let's turn it off and we'll go back out to Confero <clears throat> and you see there's different things you can do here you got your configuration I'm sorry you got your configuration you can change and all sorts of different things. Now inside Confero here you got your enable disable your configuration <clears throat> you can do several different things in here uh, if you wanted to use a light mode which is what I have turned on we'll turn that off and now it'll be in a, in a dark mode and what makes this is cool you can open it anywhere you are and you notice now my box is a darker color so just double tap again to turn it off <clears throat> I have so many tweaks going that I've got some uh, <clears throat> some that's not working correctly and you got paging here's where you hide your badges and <clears throat> here's your switcher I've got it set on showing that up to four icons Here's your activator gestures right here that you can choose from, any one of those you want. And if you want to add some security here so no one can turn it on or off or get in here to, to mess around with it, you can add that too as well. That's called Confero. The next one is called Hide Sensitive. And what this does is it hides any of your text messages or any notification really that you don't want to appear in the notifications on your lock screen <clears throat> so here's what we do you see I've replaced sensitive text with just the word private and here's the apps that you can block and I have messages turned on so now when I send a text or a uh, actually send uh, myself an a message I'm going to get and you see here when it comes up it just says private it doesn't show the text or anything like that 
So this would be a good way to keep people from reading your text messages when they pop up. You can still see who they're from, but you can block out the text. That way, no one can see what the other person has sent you. And that is called hide sensitive. The next one you're going to be looking at is called search light. And this works in conjunction with your spotlight up at the top of the page. Anywhere you are, you can actually invoke this. So if we just pull down, you'll see we get our spotlight. But there's a lot of things here that's different. We have favorites. We have recent apps. And it just makes it much easier and faster to find an app or go back to multitasking using this actually this tweak right here will help you do that so if we hit cancel and go back to our settings and go into search light and you'll see here there's several different things you can do with it here's your activator method you have which I have it set up on a triple press right now and your appearance and behavior you can change the look of the header if you want to do that which I haven't but here's where you can include your favorites and I've just chosen a couple apps at random here for sake of the video and here's recent and you can show up to five apps for a recent and I'll turn that on five and favorites um, if you wanted to add another one the about me then it would be there but then you can drag and order them in any order you want so if we just pull down from the top of the page when we're on our home page that's how we can open spotlight that way but when we're in an application is when you have to actually use your activator gesture so i'm going to have to triple press to invoke it now and when i do you see i get my favorites i get amazon and one password but it's not showing the about one so it must require a respring so here's my recent and all that stuff but it's just a really nice way to jump back and forth and use different applications and do it much faster and that was called searchlight and it's a dollar 99 in big boss repo the next one we're going to look at here guys which is going to be the last one is called switchability this is a dollar 99 in big boss repo too and this is a multitasking switcher that can, that's combined with reachability if you remember what reachability is, then we'll double press to get our multitask open. And you see it looks completely different now. The uh, multitask app switcher looks totally different. You see as we swipe through here. Uh, and, and if you wanted to open something, you could just tap it and it would open it that fast. And if you wanted to go back in and say you wanted to close something, you can just flip it over and respring. Nah, we don't want to respring. But that's called switchability, and it's $1.99 in Big Boss Repo. Guys, that's five tweaks. Hope you enjoyed them. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and favorite the video. It really helps me a lot. Share this on your social media and keep coming back.